Hi guys. So as you all know, after one year, one hour, one year, after one hour, the whole live just disappear. Are you guys back up? Can you hear me? So like I was saying, after one hour, Instagram just shut the whole live. So let's see if she's here. She is back up. She's here. She is back. She's here to make it clear. All right. What I miss? Uh, not much. <laughs> it's been all of five seconds. Uh, okay, sure. Um, you guys. <laughs> Girl, I'm really running out of, like, good question. Guys, just, like, give us some questions that are very... No, I'm just saying, well, no, here's my answer is, and you're also going to hate me for this, is I don't, I, I literally have never, like, typed in Britney to listen to Britney. You know what I mean? Yeah. The only Britney songs that I know are the ones that I've had to memorize to perform. Because yeah. it like went with a look that I was wearing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I definitely. Well, you also you also twenty one. Like, I'm twenty eight, and like Britney was kind of like the best friend that I grew up with. She was, mm -hmm. but the difference that she was on TV, I was in my bedroom. Yeah. So you kind of like have a soft spot for her, and I think it's exactly the same as like Michelle and Madonna. You know, like they have they are about right. the same age. She's living for her. She's kind of like a twin sister that she didn't, never had. Uh, yeah. Even though they look exactly the same, but Britney was kind of like this for me. Hmm. Yeah, I never really had that. Mine was literally like my mom playing the Carpenters and Donny Osmond and like, you know. Oh, I mean, same. My mom was like listening to Chris Isaac and like Anya <laughs> and Anya. David Bowie, you know, like, so I grew up with this and then I had my little like guilty pleasure, which was like Britney and Shakira. <laughs> Girl, when Shakira came out of the water, I was like, ooh! <laughs> Who is this? I want my hair wet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want my hair wet. I want my hair I wet. I do remember, uh, actually, wet uh, hair was definitely, like, a childhood thing. Like, when, when you're, like, a gay kid, like, having wet hair and, like, running through, like, the rain or, like, doing something like that is such a gay thing to do. Well, you also have straight hair. I have like pro like curly hair. So whenever I was I was like shaking my hair in the water, it looked like pubes. When yours looked like beautiful, like wet hair. Mine didn't. And girl, and mine like dry in a matter of like twenty seconds. Like I'm like mine was a woman, and it's like, girl, <laughs> we all we always want what we can't have. Cause my hair just I felt like it was just like wet dog. Like it looked like the grudge. We're never happy with what we have. Like, you call yourself wet dog, and I would call yourself, like, Nicole Scherzinger in React, you know? Oh, my God. I wish. Are you doing black brow? Yeah, we're wearing black hair. <gasps> Jen is here. Jan, 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 Jan. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the Jen to see. Is it possible to have more than two people on a live? Girl, I would imagine if four of our like our faces would be on. I'm saying, imagine great. if all of us were on a live. No, that would be a headache. I know, but it would be so entertaining. Girl, we would have Heidi putting her finger in her nose. We would did, yeah. did you see that video of me uh, like talking and then I said, "Did you put the finger in your nose?" <laughs> Calling her out <laughs> on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that. I feel like I remember someone telling me about that though. Yeah, it was on the, I think it was that BuzzFeed thing. And then I was talking, I was, I was saying how long it takes me to like do my makeup and then she's listening to me and the bitch put her fake nails in her nose and I'm like, are you putting your finger in your nose? <laughs> Heidi is very much um, exactly the same in drag as she is out of drag. Girl, like if you think guys that Heidi has like memorable lines, you should hear her talk to me on the phone on FaceTime. Like she says stuff and I'm like, you are a masterpiece, like a, like a mystery of science. It, it, just in everyday life. Yeah, she is just like... It is not country. an act. All right, what am I gonna do now? Yeah, what is your routine? Um, for makeup? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, what? so what is your next step usually after this? So usually, well, normally I've done my brow 
but I don't know yet exactly what type of brow I'm gonna do. Uh, but now usually I continue to darken the crease and then I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut it with the white. Do you ever do like a really like razor paper thin brow? Yes, I've done it, but I, it has to be placed very strategically on my face to look good. Because otherwise I look like I'm like, I've, I've put too much Botox. Like I have no expression and it's weird. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Seriously, like, I'm telling as you that. As you talk about Botox and surgery, Gigi will always be like, oh, I want to do that. It's so <laughs> fascinating to me. It makes me so, like, when I'm old, 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 I am not going to look like a human being. Girl, if you keep talking like that, you're not going to look like a human being in three, in three, in five years. Well, I, I know what I want to get now and i know what how it is in regards to how it ages yeah and um you know it's not i i'm not i have no intention of over i think i'm gonna do black brow too because we're supposed to be sisters unless you do i love when you do your um really super light 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 brow but on purple i don't really know what color i should do well that's what i'm saying i love that your mom is like thank you nikki you could just do like a, a lilac lavender eyebrow to go with your face. Like in the build interview, did you do an eyebrow in the build interview? No, I had none. Okay, that looked really pretty to me. But you've also done looks where your eyebrow like kind of just melts into your face a little bit, which is really pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a very light, like very light black uh, brow and then re-blend it with purple. I think that'll be lovely. What's next? Then brows aren't even. You are right. Um... Okay, I don't want anyone to tell me about my brows because my brow looked like shit until the, the time I put my lashes on. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Girl. For until sure. I take a picture of my look, my brow look a mess. Someone's saying to do a white brow, which would certainly be a choice. I mean, but I'm I like what you have going on right now. The color that you have going on right now is very cute. It's just an it's just a dirty brush with black. Oh, good, yep. good, good, good. good uh, but I will do a very uh, graphic, uh, unblended uh, white highlight under it. So, okay. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm about to do that right now. This part is like surgery for me. And here we are with the surgery again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what white do you use? Because yours is so sharp. This one is the Kat Von D brow pomade. Or wait, no, no, no. This one is the um. Why did I say that? That was literally the opposite of what I'm using. It's the Morphe white concealer. Well, I thought you were about to say Jeffrey Star because you said opposite of Kat Von D, and I was like, <gasps> Is she gonna say Jeffrey Star? This is gaggy. I wish I could afford the Jeffrey Star makeups. Oh, you can, girl, now. You just... Oh, no, you didn't want. I was about to say, you just won $5,000, but you did not. <laughs> mm -mm. There we go. Widow, we can ask Widow to buy it for you. Yeah. I just asked Jada if, if she got hers yet. And she mm. said that uh, it was supposed to come, but was sent to the wrong address. So that's good. An inside scoop. We oh. don't get them immediately. Okay. Uh, fuck, kiss, or kill with your drag race sisters. Okay. All of them? <laughs> well, who would you fuck, kiss, or kill? Um, I would kill... Wow. You, you start uh, with that one? Yeah, you gotta get it out of the way. Gosh, let me think. I don't even know. That's so hard. Go on. Jake Johnson's gonna be like, Gigi Good hates blah, blah, blah. She Gigi Good wants she to kill. Right. I would kill myself and then give what the, the fuck. fuck. What I'm type of Miss Universe bullshit is that? <laughs> I just want to live in a world. And But she still wants to leave us on red, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. I don't know either. I don't know who I would, I would kill. I wouldn't. I mean, like, logically. Oh, I know who I would kill. I would kill the person that goes in the finale with me, then I win. 
Mm -hmm. That's unfair. Well, yeah. Well, you know, like the competition is all the way to the finale. At the finale, you just want the person to die and you just want to win. The Hunger Games. Exactly. Yeah, I'm kind of leaving for that brow. Yours? Yeah. Well, I like yours <laughs> as well, but... Yours looks like, um... What's the word? Thanos. I look like who? Thanos. Yeah. Bitch, don't try me. I know where you live. I was about to say, no, you don't, but you do. Makeup giving me leprosy vibes. Yes. Oh my gosh. When Heidi said that, I lost it. Girl, same. All right. Oh, and you uh, heard it. Do you have pets? Um, Personally, no, but I have a cat at home with my mom named Gerald. <gasps> Gerald? Gerald. He is... um really not a good cat he's very angry and hates everybody i mean That's... have you seen yourself what type of example are you giving to him you know what you're right i'm gonna look into that <laughs> I... you pet... okay so i don't want to be like uh, a party pooper but someone stole my dog when i was <gasps> yeah when i was 21 someone stole my dog and it traumatized me so much that i've never had another pet after this oh my god how long did you have your dog I had my dog for like two years. His name was Candy, and he was a Pomeranian. And literally, someone like stole it. What? Like the I can't even explain. Dog? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that traumatized me so much that I promised myself to never had a dog after this. And now I, <gasps> you guys want to see? <laughs> Jacob, J Jacob just just talked about the sheep. So let me show you. Alexa, Alexa, turn on the living room light. So I have sheep's. Are you guys ready? This is so crazy. <laughs> I am not a psychopath. I love this. Here's so. my pet. It's fucked up, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki. This is my pet. It's a big sheep fur on wood. And I have different little sheep. And so that one, <laughs> his name is uh, Wooly Allen. And then there is Star Sheep and <laughs> Sheep and Dell. <laughs> and then. There's other ones over oh. here. <laughs> Nikki. This is Abba. <laughs> I hate you. And I don't remember that one, girl. But then, and then I have those two. I have that one, and I have this one. Blink twice if you need. Girl, help. Miss Fame has chickens. I have fake sheep. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> you can have your fake sheep. I'm sorry for judging. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And you know what? Mine are well-educated. They don't talk. My pets are all um, mannequin bodies. I just have a lot of them. I pets. am worried for you. I am really worried for you, uh, Gigi. Well, I appreciate you. Gonna be, I, I, I'm sure that in, in, in like 15 years, it will be like a, 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 special, a Netflix docu documentary special. A drag queen is, is being serial killer. Oh, keeping yes. all her exes in her closet. As mannequins. Did you ever watch um, Jeepers Creepers? Yes. Love that movie. Love that too. That's how, that's, that's me. I'm the killer. But you know what? It's funny because I actually, a lot of um, very strong um, villain inspired Nikki Doll. And one of my biggest inspiration was Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. Oh. When she kills Michael Douglas when having sex, I was like, oh, I need you in my life. Well, did you watch Don't Fuck With Cats? Of, of course. You know that I was in Paris when this asshole was there. <gasps> he talked to my friends on Grindr. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Your friends could literally have been one of those cats. Yeah. It, it, but you know what? The, th the funny thing about this story is that I had no clue. I had no clue about the cats. When, when we were in Paris and this crazy was, like, going around, we just knew that he killed someone. You didn't know just, about the cats? No, I discovered this with my manager, Gina, um, watching the, the, the documentary, and I was gagged. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That was, was well, I mean, the first time I had even heard about this story was when I watched this documentary. Oh, no, no, no. I was in Paris. I knew about this crazy when I was living there, and he was in the city going around. Oh, my God. That is insanity. <laughs> okay, my brother. I have a lot of Oh, oh, 
All right, you want to do another, another question? Are you guys having fun? I hope we're not too boring. We're literally just kicking. I'm, I am. DJ and I could talk for like seven hours nonstop. Yeah, actually. I'm going to be honest, I completely forgot we were on live. Okay, here. Favorite makeup brand. Um, you know what? This is going to sound really biased, but it's not. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I always have. I think I, I, I use the most amount of products on my face from them. I am, uh, oh my God, Charlie Lumindu is in the house. Huh? Hi, Charlie. Oh, hey. Hey. Guys, Charlie is the hairstylist and one of my best friends that did my buttons hair. Iconic. He is also the same artist that did Gaga buttons hair. Iconic. He is one of the best hairstylists in the whole world. Iconic. And one of my dearest friends. Um, what was your question, babe? Oh. Favorite well, no, um, Charlie said it here, the question. My favorite, look, I have, I started doing makeup uh, and I had the opportunity to succeed doing makeup because Mac gave me the opportunity to work without even having to go to school. They just gave me a makeup a trial and they saw that I had potential and they were like, you know what? We are going to give you a chance. So I will always be a Mac girl. That's cute. My first makeup product I ever bought was from Mac. Yeah, same. Who said about, why is everybody talking about my brows, bitch? I'm gonna fucking kill you. I said my brows will be done at the very end. If you had to be a, in quarantine in a room with one person, would it be Rue or Michelle? Oh, bitch. Oh. RuPaul. I would, you know what? I, I think RuPaul as well. But I think RuPaul would, would make she's me a good feel time, very yeah. stupid because he's, this bitch is so, yeah, but she's so smart as well. Like she would be the one like, okay, let's play this game. Let's play Jodie Sherez, and then she would bring you a reference, and you'd be like, oh, what's Fosse? You know? <laughs> so, you're where, calling I, Michelle where, I think J uh, Michelle is more like, 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 she's more like us. Like, to me, like, she's RuPaul just... is like a whole other type of human being. I could see that, but I, I just know that RuPaul is, you know, down to... Favorite song, favorite song little... from High School Musical? Uh, fuck, Have you watched uh... High, School, High School Musical? Um, High School Musical is probably the closest thing to a religion that I have, to be honest. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So I would have to say Fabulous by Sharpay Evans in High School Musical 2. Um, High School Musical 2 is obviously better than High School Musical 1, and everybody Duh. knows that. We all, we all the time. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're trash, but... Um, I do... Listen, I was in High School Musical Junior, the stage production, when I was young, and it it was... Very much. Wait, uh, is that is that a tradition in in the U.S. to do High School Musical when you're in high school? No, I wasn't even. I in high feel school. like I everyone in the grade. cast has been a fucking like role in High School Musical, and I'm like, is that part of the like the school? Uh, well, role book? it's kind of like it's kind of like how when Adam's family went to Broadway, it was like in every high school in the nation was doing it. Mm -hmm. Um. So I think that just High School Musical came out, and then the rights to it came out, and then the high schools were just like, all right, here we go. But I was in the fifth grade when I did it, so yeah, I was a little baby. But we're all well, that was two, two years, years ago, right? Yeah, that was only a couple of years ago when I was in the fifth grade, yeah. Abby. Oh, she is starting to look canty, baby. Cunty. 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 Do you know this song? Cunty. Cunty. Well, that was in the 90s. I'm sure you don't know. Yeah, no. That was Not one of the first songs that I've ever, ever, ever. Gigi, your hair, I live. I mean, yeah, it's kind of gaggy. Let me wait. Turn it around so you get the bow in there. Stunning. Wait, I don't even see the makeup you're doing because I have all the chat on it. What are you doing? Wow, does that mean oh. that nobody else can see me either? No, I see. Can you guys see Gigi's makeup? Are you guys a fan of a ASMR? I am. A it actually works on me. Do you like ASMR? <laughs> ASMR is cute. 
I started to watch it as like a joke, like what the fuck is happening? People are being bored, like people are eating pickles and what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Like Candy Muse says. But, <laughs> and then I started to listen and I was like, it actually is doing something in my brain. I feel really good. It's never really done that for me. I've watched it because I think they're funny, but um, I've never really used it as a form of therapy. I see. The one that I really love is Alexis Stone reading hateful comments. Oh, yes. When she said... Those are uh, fun. Wait, she said a joke. Where it, it was about Ellen DeGeneres. And I literally... When I tell you, I was crying laughing for like a whole hour. It was... Oh, I don't remember. Do you guys remember that, that, that joke that she made about Ellen DeGeneres? Oh, I don't recall. That's okay. It was really good. Anyway, I like it ASMR. Next question. A cross section of your faces would reveal about a hundred layers of makeup. What? What do you mean, Mama Good? What is that saying? She said a cross section of your faces would reveal about a hundred layers of makeup. Oh, oh, our faces. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I, we gotta cake it on somehow. Honey, are you judging us, Mother? Have you pa have you painted your mom's before? I've only painted her one time, never in, it wasn't in drag, it was just like when I was a beauty boy in in college and it did not look good because we used the wrong foundation shade. It was not that cute, but I do really want to put her in drag. Girl, my mom, like I would be able to like, I did makeup on like celebrities and stuff like that. And my mom would always be the toughest client to please. Yeah. Like, my mom would always be like, that's too much. No, I don't like this. This lighter is too thick. And I'm like, mom, I'm paid oh. money to do celebrities' makeup, and yet you reading my makeup skills? Like, what the hell? Moms can be really tough. Well, but they're the truest judge of character. Oh, they keep you grounded, honey. Absolutely. Yeah, my, they keep, you know, like, sometimes I would wake up being like, oh, I'm a star. I got this. And then I would call my mom, and then she was like, are you sure? Mm, no, you're not. Are you now? <laughs> you mean I'm a star because I made you. Right. It's like the only star is me. Because you would <laughs> not be here without me. I've never had that conversation with my mom. Wait, who's blurry? Am I blurry? Is Gigi blurry? Is this a solu Is there a solution to the problem? Listen, I, I'm not. A, I'm not a technologically advanced person. I had Wi-Fi when I first moved to this apartment, and I didn't have it for the first couple of months because I thought that I had activated it, but I didn't correctly. Like, I'm just not. It's not part of my. I mean, guys, I don't know if you were here in the first live, but Gigi could not even know how to show the live. So she is not say? lying. What can I say? Okay. G <gasps> Someone says Gigi has McDonald's Wi-Fi. I am living. It, that is so true. Oh my God. My Wi-Fi is so bad. She has McDonald's Wi-Fi and she's literally at Starbucks across the street. Yeah. At uh, that. She couldn't figure out how to connect to Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Listen porn. here, everyone. In the chat, Nikki, Gigi, and Crystal are mine. Oh, wow. Those fans. What did they say? Someone said that we belong to her. I'm kind of leaving. Yes, girl. Oh. Pee on okay. your territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Claim me. I'm available. Girl, I'm available in Cameo. <laughs> available in Cameo. HTTPS forward slash. Gigi, good. How was it um, hearing RuPaul say your name? Uh, well, the first time I think I farted when she said, Nikita, up next, Nikita, I was like, <gasps> I, I mean, it was, it was fun. It was, it was fun. <laughs> but it's hard to realize, like, it, it takes you a while to figure out, to realize that she's, it's happening. You know, she's saying your name and you're being yeah. judged on the biggest drag, like, runway of the world. Yeah. It was wild. Um, I think hearing my name was not as nerve-wracking than walking in front of her. That's true. Actually, I felt like I was like, okay, as soon as I'm walking, I'm, I'm fine. And then as soon as she said my name, I was like, oh my God, RuPaul's saying my name. 
Yeah. Wait, I I want to do like a colored liner, but like not the same shape as you, but like a, a like it like the same line kind of that I do, but I want to do it in like blue. And I'm not sure if it's gonna stay blue with all the colors I've added on me. It should be like your last step. Well, now is my last step. I just want to do the liner. Oh, then do a blue liner. But I'm not sure if it's gonna stay blue. What would you use? Well, I'm gonna use I think a cream liner. Oh, okay. Well, okay, I'm, I'm gonna let you with all our babies, and I'll be back. I'm gonna go pick it up. Love you guys. I'll be back. What are you doing? I'll be back. What is she saying? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going okay. to pick up my liner. I will be back. Oh, I get it. Wait, I'm so confused. Okay, so listen, no, Gigi, can you speak some French? The answer to that question is absolutely not. I'm so sorry. Um, do I have the season one filter on? What's going on? Can you hear me? Okay, you guys, I'm sorry because I can't. Like, I, I have literally no idea how to work technology so i'm trying my best here okay okay she wants to feed her sheep that is for sure that is for sure thoughts on lana del rey um love her she's great i hear she's got the new um coronavirus and if that's true my heart goes out to her but um I know. These are tough times right now. We're trying our best to keep positive. We are trying our best to turn this into a vacation. Ugh, am I so blurry? You guys, I don't know what to do. What? Let me check. Give me a sec. Okay. I don't know if that helped. Did that help? Let me know if that helped. Y'all. <laughs> I just don't know how I'm looking. Um, thoughts on Gothi Kendall? I love Gothi Kendall. I love her drag. First time I saw her, I was like stunned. And um, I don't know. She's great. She's great. She has really fabulous taste in her. Nikki. Yes. Am I blurry? A little bit, but not, not, I mean, not super blurry. We see you, but you're not as sharp as me. But you know what we can do? We can turn off my, my chat and I can, we can go on yours for a little bit for people to be able to see you. Okay, sure. All right, everyone, we're going to be continuing. Wow, I thought you were about to say no, but wow. okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gigi, Gigi, Gigi is going to go on live and then we'll give her the sharpness that she deserves. Thanks. Connect on Gigi's account. Bye. Love you. Bye.